Okay, I'm not sure about the lighting. It's late at night and I've had to improvise. Welcome to Supergirl Reaction, a long last again. Ah, in the last episode, we left it on a bit of a cliffhanger where Kara, no, no, Astra, has uh, recruited the services of three other Kryptonians and a couple of other people from the Fort Ross and is now laying siege to the city. Oh, and we also had the big reveal. This is the, 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 the main point, I think, behind the action, behind everything that's going on between Supergirl and Astra. We have Cat, who has guessed Supergirl's identity. And that's... I, I, I want to see how their relationship now develops. Because, let's face it, Cat treated Kara like absolute crap. Well, calling her Clara and Kira. And now the dynamic has changed. And I wonder how Wynn and Jimmy are going to react to this. No, they're calling James. How are they going to react to that news? Well, with so much going on, and then we've got John Jones, and that's that storyline is building up to something I know. <clears throat> There's going to come an episode where we're going to be dealing pretty much with Hank. I'm looking forward to that. But until then, we've got all this Kryptonian thing to deal with, an Astra thing. Ah, uh, let's do this. Uh, Okay, this is called um, Blood Bonds. So, okay, then we are gonna we're gonna get into the moral debate, I think, between Astra and Kara's mother, as was back on Krypton, the ecological implications and the eco terrorism. Not everything in the DC Universe, it seems, is black and white. Let's do Supergirl. Okay, explanation. Change of a shirt because it's the next day because I didn't have Supergirl last night. I did the introduction and then I didn't realise that I didn't even have a copy of it. Let's go on with this now then. Oh, they're going to have a bit of a fight up there, are they? Whoops! <laughs> yeah, beware of uh, aircraft. It's a bit hard to see. Oh, ouch! Astra was wrong about you. You're as weak as any human. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, but he can take care of himself, can't he? Alex. You must be so upset about losing Hank. He can hold his own. Yeah. Unless he has superpowers you're not telling me about. We <laughs> yeah, he has superpowers that we're not telling you about. Do you have a better idea? That's what I am. I'm very boring and really normal mm -hmm. <laughs> so um so yeah i'll just get out of your hair why have a building to leap in a single bound <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we're still going with that joke <laughs> which is great because it's it's hilarious <laughs> kira there are many topics that i still won't get our name right though for humor English cuisine, black lipstick, but I will never make a joke about a good story. Miss Grant. Director Danvers, congratulations on your promotion. <laughs> you back safe, sir. Which will only happen if you do exactly as I say. I will return Henshaw unharmed if 
you return General Astra safely to me. Of course. You have 48 hours or your man dies. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? Isn't, now we know isn't John, John Jones so immortal? Do? If I turn down the deal, Non kills Hank. If I go through with it, I free a criminal with the strength of you. I have those media authorizations you asked for, Miss Grant. Oh, wonderful, Kira, wonderful. <laughs> Why don't you? Does Cat honestly think that that is her name? That her name really is Kira? I, I, I really should be getting back to my desk, Miss Grant. I insist. Okay. I what the hell's he? I can't read his mind. I thought that's what your race was famous for. Maybe he's playing you for a fool, huh? Wouldn't be hard to do. I would never do that to you. <laughs> humans must have developed some type of technology that blocks me. What are you so desperate to find out? The location of the DEO? You thinking of launching a preemptive strike? Perhaps I should preemptively snap your neck. <laughs> you kill me, you kill your wife. You're nothing but a barking dog on a chain. No threat at all. Oh! Now I see how much more advanced you are than us savages. <laughs> no, that's not true. I, I love my job. Every minute that you waste playing assistant in here is a minute that someone out there is not getting saved. Miss Grant, what are you saying? I am saying that I will not partake in this ruse any longer. <laughs> so you You're have fired. to me that you are not Supergirl, or you can clean out your desk tomorrow. Oh, How we doing, that's a bit man? harsh. John kind of exposed out here. Okay, okay, the alarms are disabled, but I'm just gonna need a little bit more time with this lock, bud. I mean, she does sure need a alter ego. Yeah, of course I'm sure. The whole world right. can't know she is. No reason. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's quite a mesh. Oh, you can't kick lasers, can you? Come on, Lynn, help me out here. Okay, okay, only because you asked so politely. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, hold there. That's, that is, that is interesting. What's interesting? Well, all the other locks in Max's facility use a keypad system, but this one, this one's a, a biodiagnostic. What? Can you hack that? No, no, James, that's like kind of the whole point. It's better than a fingerprint, a voice print, a retinal scan. <laughs> Thumb to the back of the head. No. Hank. No. Whoa. <clears throat> well, what's her cloak made of? Jimmy Olsen, intrepid photographer. I just didn't realize how intrepid. My security system isn't state of the art. It is the art. <laughs> Who helped you get past it? Hmm? Well, it's like you said. I'm intrepid. What happened to you? It looks much worse than it is. That's not what I asked. I, I don't want you getting upset. That's why I didn't tell you in the first place. Max Lord did this to you. <laughs> you were in on this too? You both lied to me? <laughs> we were trying to help you. By taking him on yourselves? <laughs> Max Lord is evil. I see no, him now, and I will do not whatever evil. it takes to stop him. Wait, is he? Oh, you're sounding an awful lot like Astra. Yeah, is he Supergirl's so version no, of Lex Luthor? Stop me. Get out of my way. 
if you go after Maxwell Lord like this, then you know what? You're just proving him right. That you are no different from Astra or not. What if I'm not so different? You have to be. Kara. <laughs> because if you if you aren't, then, then Who you will be? lose. Yeah. You well, you still got Superman. I feel like I lost everything. Everyone deserves faith, Astra, even you. Now tell me what happened on Krypton. The truth. Astra. Mm. <clears throat> please look at me. I believe you. I believe Krypton faces annihilation. And far sooner than anyone here will admit. Then why condemn me? Because you killed people, Astra. No matter what noble goals you hid behind, nothing will ever change that fact. The mother never stopped believing in me. You are so much like her car. Oh, so Astra's giving her back her faith in her mother again. It's not too late, Astra. Please tell me where <coughs> Henshaw is. The only way to save him is to make the trade. The humans will never agree to that. I think sometimes Supergirl forgets how what much power she actually has. Making a prisoner exchange. The hell you are. Let us What's that gonna do? That alien is the enemy, Agent Danvers. Your orders were to bring Director Henshaw home. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> she saved my life, sir. <laughs> Where have I seen that before? I know exactly where I've seen that before. How Fans of Doctor Who, anyone? His army won't betray you. I don't. But I have faith. Loads of them. We're surrounded. You have to transform. Prepare to attack! Ooh. They're all Kryptonians, I take it. Stop! Stand down! Honor the agreement, Nob. There will be no more battles today. Withdraw! <laughs> yeah, knew it. He's not an idiot. No one was doing it. So, uh, what did Alex mean when she said you had to transform? Or did you forget I had super hearing? <laughs> I wondered if they were going to get round to that. Maybe that's going to be in the next episode. You're from Mars? <laughs> from Krypton. But why stay hidden? I'm trying to make the world a safe place for everyone, humans and aliens alike. I failed Alex's father before I assumed the identity of Hank Henshaw. I won't fail again. And you saw what the DEO is like under General Lane, so we need Hank. I never realized how absurd you look in that ridiculous outfit. Blue, yellow, and red. It's like a color wheel threw up. I'm sorry to bother you, Miss Grant, but James Olsen said you wanted to see me. Something about you thinking your assistant was me? Oh, for God's sake, are we going to keep on playing this tiresome game? <laughs> I told you it wasn't a game, Miss Grant. I'm afraid I can't stay long. There's a lot of people out there, <laughs> as you well know. Nice to meet you, by the way. Nice to meet you, too. Hey, Miss Grant, Kara, and Kira. You can have your job back if you would like it. As long as you don't tell anyone that I thought you were... You know. Uh. <laughs> that would be in both of our interests, Miss Grant. And Kira, I was wrong. Now that I've seen you both in the same room, you look nothing like her. 
<laughs> oh wow, he is good, isn't he? I forgot he could shape change as well. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> My name is Maxwell Lord. And I'm going to help you. So I have plenty of mysteries to carry forward into the next episode ah uh, what who is that girl what is maxwell lord up to and whose was that severed hand brilliant episode like as always it's it's so <clears throat> it's so funny it, it's but I, I i love it for its humor i've got to admit i love it for its quirky cheesy humor and not necessarily for the effects or for the convoluted storyline as it, as it is becoming and i just love the uh the cat supergirl kira mystery thing going on i'm sure that's going to come up again at some point it always did with lois lane and clark kent so i'm assuming that that's going to be a running gag as it were i love this series <laughs> it's so funny Right, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye.